One more thing you can do to flag images is to assign a color rating. If you control click one of the selected images, that's right mouse click for PCs, choose label and then choose a color that you wish to assign to your favorite shots. Okay, now that we've identified our five star rated and red hot images, we're ready to move forward to the next step. You can then filter the images so you only see the rated images. To do this, click on the word unfiltered up at the top. Here you can show just those images with certain star ratings and or color codes. In this case, I'll choose either five stars or red label because they're rated both ways. I like to do this, by the way, because the color coding catches my eye very easily. Now, you might consider duplicating these images to their very own folder. To do this, click on the folder icon up at the top and give it a name. Portrait Portfolio. Then select the images we've shortlisted by shift clicking them. And then Option or Alt drag them into our new folder. This copies them over very easily. Now I'm going to open the folder to make sure that they're all in there and great, they're all there. Now you might want to rename these images so that they're a bit more meaningful to your project. To rename just one of the images, click directly on the name of the image in the thumbnail and enter the new name. However, it's more likely that you'll want to rename all of the sorted images in a series. So here's how to do this. Select the images to rename or type Command or Control A to select them all. Then choose Batch Rename from the Tools menu, which is right up at the top. And now you have a few choices. You can rename them where they are, or duplicated and renamed, etc., to a different folder. And since we had copied them over first, I'll choose to rename in the same folder. Next, you can assign new file names. You can assign straight numbers or text. Then enter a generic name for all like I did here and click the plus sign to the side to add additional text. Then below you might choose something like a sequence number and set the starting number to the right of it. I'm going to leave it set to 1 and specify how many digits you want. I'll leave it set to two digits. Now below you'll see what the renamed file will look like. And the JPEG file extension that's shown is just a dummy placeholder, so don't panic. It does retain the file format that the image was saved in. And when you're ready, click Rename and watch the Bridge program do all of your housekeeping chores for you. To open an image or all of the selected images, just double click on any one. I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to open up one of these images and you'll see that it opens up in Photoshop ready for the next phase in your workflow. Well, this was a brief introduction to the wonders of Adobe Bridge. I suggest that you dive right into this program to learn it as quickly as possible. It's just plain indispensable when sorting, organizing, and working with your images inside of Photoshop.